Hi, my name is Reverend Karo Kiyama, and this is Thoughts of a Shaken Pastor Season 5. In this season, we're talking to men and women who have positively impacted the growth of faith in this country. And so today, it's my extreme pleasure to introduce someone who's well known to us, DJ Moes. Sasa. Welcome. Asante, thanks for having me on this. Hey, I'm going to title you the title. Thoughts of a Shaken Pastor. You know, everyone was asking me, why Thoughts of a Shaken Pastor? Yeah, yeah. But it came from COVID. You know, when churches were closed, we weren't sure how we were going to navigate that space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't even sure we would be able to pay bills. But I, I don't, honestly, my mm -hmm. faith wasn't shaken. But everything I knew was shaken. Oh, man. Yeah, and so that's that's where that came from. It was like a Yeah, yeah. a job. I'm a church. Yeah, yeah. Is church content to a building? You know? Yes. Ebu, tell us about yourself. Fiti, so um, people call me DJ Moz, mm -hmm. but my real name is Moses Kimath Matenge. I'm the last born family of five kids. Uh, my mom and dad are deceased now. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm in mean, life too. <laughs> yeah, like you know, Komali Papo. Amen. They were, were born they, again. They were born again, yeah. Amen. So, um, yeah, and I'm a DJ by profession. Uh, I'm married to a beautiful lady. Her name is Deborah Kimathi. Mm -hmm. And uh, God has blessed us with three amazing kids. Uh, firstborn Zara, who's 12, Alba is 10, and uh, Baraka is six years old. So two boys and a girl? No, two girls and a boy. The boys are Al Al Alba is a girl. Well, it's one of those names you can either be a boy's girl. In Ukenda, mm -hmm. Spain, Alba is a boy's name. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Alba, is, Alba can mean Scotland, mm -hmm. and my wife is Scottish. Or it can also mm -hmm. mean a place of strength. Oh, wow. Yeah, it can also mean, um, in Latin, I don't know if it meant white or, I don't know, but at least we like looking at it from the place of, place of strength. Of strength. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So how did you, were you, you grew up in a Christian family? Yeah, yeah. So hey. how did you come to faith yourself? Okay. Yeah, so my show, show all my grandparents, uh, my parents were very instrumental in the church. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad, probably later on in his life. Mm. Uh, but he still used to actively, mm. uh, even starting off a church together with my mom, mm. a PCA can game because that's where I grew up. Mm. So um, uh, at least they, they gave us, uh, you know, uh, from my grandparents, you know, the foundation was there. May think I'm reaping the benefits mm. Mm. of, you know, how God blesses the children of the children of, the you children. know, yeah. So, um, so when, when I was growing up, the church was a big deal for us. Mm. There's no way mom and get a home. Mm. Especially f your formative years. Mm. Like in a difficult place, I want to force the church. Mm. So, me in the church until I think Salen Maliza Primary School. Mm. After that, I was in the church. Hey, you didn't grow up? Actually, I was in the church. I missed the church. Hey, it's going to feel your church. It's going to feel special church. It was a bomb. 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 Although the funny thing is that my bishop don't go and get a cathol. Like you know, just cathol, you go under pressure. You go under pressure. Ah, see, so you know, time at a cast in the church, you get talking in and out cathol. Like you know, you go under a ball, you go under a talent show. At least the Catholic Church near us was happening. Cathol, you go and happen. I love not just this, but this cathol. We listen Joseph to work. He likes to go up and work and game. So, we like to go to work here, like table tennis. So, me ni kona yani sato. I'm during the holidays to kifunga chuo. Life he likuwa conduct just a table tennis. I love to watch movies. So, I saw a movie. Nani Church. Nani Church. Wow. I love to play place here, ball. I was you were young, you were fresh. I was like, let's say, like now, the fathers. We were like, we were brothers. I mean, so we were like, 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 but I thought it was cool. Mm. In, uh, they had a different way of demonstrating their faith that I did not see in my church. So like they, they had the joy mm. and they had the happiness. And, and they were living. And they were living, which I was not experiencing it mahali akina mother wako. Lakini akina mother pia walikuwa na raha yao. Lakini ilikuwa raha ya wama? Ilikuwa raha ya yao, their own demonstration of faith and having fun in Christ. Because wangishikana mazo ingie prayers for a long time. Mungu muka mother mazo ikulu time to get car down to kuli food. <laughs> mother na pray unalala. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, 
Uh, but they enjoyed it, mm. you know, and that was their demonstration of faith. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't understand that language, mm. you know, but um, I thank God Kua, the foundation is Kushale Iwa. Mm. So later on in life, when, uh, when I became a Christian in Kiwakwa clubs, um, foundation God Ali Kushale. So how did you become a Christian? That's easy to explain. <laughs> See? Um, the only way me jaribu kuambia waseni kuwa nilisikia tu like this hunger in my this voice in my heart for like a year mm, mm, mm. for like a year ina kuambia maze most come sasa mimi niko kwa clubs in Baya <laughs> I mean the club. yeah, yeah. Mm. so like I was in the club since for about for about uh, two solid years uh, so you finish high school mm -hmm. still in the world yeah you go you study being a dj oh yeah i went to work immediately after high school ah, awesome Ili so ata, you always like music yeah nilimaliza nilimaliza chuo nikaenda hata nikiwa chuo nilikuwa naenda kucheza same muziki kwa daro ningebeba walkman <laughs> na speaker <laughs> na chezea my boys wangu my, my fellow students na chezea muziki every now and then kani ko form tumi kumbuka you know um so but music has always been a part of me but where did you go to school I went to Aga Khan High School and uh, laughed straight after that. I went to uni, my parents were afford. So I went but I was blessed. Yani, ile design, um, it's funny. Na kumbuka after kumaliza high school, when the results slips, suddenly my exams were announced. You know, Zetu zilikuwa na chukua a while. So you know, just na chukua wiki tatu zi shatoka. Zetu zilikuwa chukua like a couple of months. Hey, una relax kwanza. So, um, I remember one time, and I was even I was not a Christian, I was even not even anywhere near God. Na kumbuka niki pray tu nika feel in my heart. Ndaina chuo, ni chukua results slip zangu, niende westi, na ntapata job westi. So, nikaenda nika chukua results slip yangu, aga kan, nika teremka the same time as ye westi. Nikaenda shop ya kwanza kuhuliza job, walikuwa na uza furniture. Uh, Wakanambia, kuna job saizi, if you come back after a month, uneza pata job. Nikaenda nini office ya pili wakanambia are you ready to start in two weeks never will lose a job hello if the same yani god wa ajabu bana so um so so nikikuja kwa nikuja kuokoka so i mean siko naenda church na mimi na maboys wangu although we were very we were very sinful guys but somehow tulikuwa na heshima ya god mm -hmm. you know Na, that, that word that had been planted yeah, was still yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, nika usha usha kana walevi mazee alafu naongea story za God yani. Tell me not taking you a deep kukuliko. So nika kuna nika no kuliko na reverence flani ya God hata katuko na understanding full. Mm. So like I f I know like somehow uh, somehow we love God although we need to understand his ways na uh, we were sinful kuliko na respect tuliko na so that's why I could pray ama could believe God yani. Haikuwa kitu, haikuwa kitu hard. Haikuwa kitu hard. You know, from what I'm hearing, it's like, you always love the Lord. Yeah. But you didn't want to be bored. No, I didn't. And church was not meeting. You didn't know how to be young and have fun and, you know, and still love God. I couldn't. The, that option was not there it was not. You. Wait, church, you had to have a drum. I had 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 a drum. In a gum, to an worship uh, uh, song says we all had all our songs were mm, on a book. Him, yeah, the hymn books, Alafu, uh, on Yeboshi Akeroho. You know, mm. I remember it used to be called that. So, um, Akiam Kamazaki Gong gave you one, two, three on a journey of tempo. Mm. Alafu na Kongoza. We say, I'm a mm. haiko. <laughs> so, you see why I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. lend me my hip hop head. Mm. So, um, <laughs> it was your place of suffering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I was becoming a Christian, it looked to just that one whole year and ask God to work in it. But I couldn't explain us, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember my biggest struggle actually, I could work with stories of clubs. Look on my best one, good to find any now. What any hepa? I can't even go. I see experience yet to know. I see what I'm going to see. Power. I put a rudil place. Yeah, but ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nakini, thank God, we can to this. We can Nairobi chapel. <laughs> na Nairobi chapel ilikuwa na 5 o'clock service. Kumaanisha ah. ningemaliza club, alafu niende church jioni. Ni malize club ni lale, ninge church jioni. So sayo ilikuwa kufanya job na club full time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ile job ya first ama sayo usha graduate. Ya yeah, yeah, sasa nitoka kwa kuzinilishi ile ilikuwa nafanya sales. No. Oh. Alafu nikaanza kuingia kwa club selling music, then I bought my own mobile mm. unit. Mm. Uh, which is how I got my gigs in the clubs. Mm. So 
like towards the tail end ile to i was introduced to that chapel for that service for Nairobi chapel sure. was very impressed kwa ah mm. kuna wasi wa young mm. wanajibamba na instruments i mean for me music is a big deal mm. so mean acha ni kwambie tu siri by the mean kind of church worship team haiko hey ile wasi sema mama they don't listen to the to the to the i want to say to the voice the you know listen, listen to the message ah niko basi tu recite tu to to miangia email yeah to angalia tu so in fact wife yangu struggle sana kwa sababu mimi nikienda kwa gig na yeye nisikie engineering ajafanywa poa nitamwambia give me a minute in the kongelesha sound engineer nimwambia mbona tusikie drums mbona tusikie guitar you know mbona ule mtu anaimba kiwa loud house kizi vitu you know so um but anyway long story kusema my my doing the kuja accept christ um ilikuwa ni yeye mazi kunipata na place of darkness na kunisaidia ku understand hakuna place spirit ya god akuagi na je vile sio sema god haiko kwa club ama wasi wa church hata iko in certain spaces mimi mm. niko god is omnipresent mm. ni wapi hayuko mm. mm. you know unless basi see god kama hayuko kwa hii space hapa hivi kwa hii box basi see god yes yeah, see god yeah yeah, yeah. yeah wow wow <laughs> so here you are Yeah. This is your livelihood? Yeah, yeah. Now you've joined church. At least you've realized you know that love God. No kuko na life na si lazima uwake. Si lazima. Remember that was your struggle no wale Catholic brothers. Yeah, yeah. So how did you then how did you move from doing, you know, from playing in the club oh. to becoming the DJ Moz, you know? I think oh, yeah. the first gig I ever remember you doing we had just got married. It was uko late 90s. Mm-hmm. And there was something happening in multimedia university now I don't know if you remember it was a oh big, the camp big, yes oh my gosh big, yeah big I think that's the first time yes. I met I met Tony as well yes. yeah I remember you from then I'm like we you know to nafanya anga god card muki set up so moving now from there into that space and becoming known oh, wow. for I think because I didn't even know that it started of the club space yeah I didn't know you know many guys were many just from the church circles yes um so the transition high core it was not easy Mm. Uh first because I'm coming from the clubs and I still you know even even after I became a, a believer mm. I was still in the clubs for about another extra year. Mm. So mm. Likuan, in fact when I became a believer the first event I got was um ushering in the new millennium. Mm. 1999 you going to acquire the fire. Do you remember you mm. University of Nairobi? Mm. It was such a big gig. Mm. And so I approached those guys in Colombia man I'm a new believer I'm a Christian DJ and I'd like to DJ for you guys mm. for your you know for your concert mm. and the amazing thing is Sara Uyungu ali nikubali mm. the team that was mm. was planning for that event mm. so they gave me the platform and they gave me prime time like just before midnight mm. na mimi I'm, i'm like two months in the faith mm. <laughs> and i only had a few christian cds but they entrusted me in that space which meant a lot mm. but then the transformation or the metamorphosis ilikuwa ngumu kwa sababu um after that was our church work who like makanisa vile tunazijua mm. they're not very accepting you know they're wondering mm. what do you mean a christian dj when i'm christian no any dj hizo mbili zina namba tanaje you know my dj ni wa club nyi ndio mnaenda kuaribu watoto wetu so na kuja kutaribia watoto wapo hivi kanisani hey so mzee walikuwa huyu ni moto wa kote ya mbali bana what's an so um in fact when i got my first radio gig at family fm uh I used to go do my shows like Monday to Friday mm. uh Monday to Saturday actually but I would get a gig and I still go for my gigs because mm. I still did not understand this space mm. um and I was still getting accustomed to it so and I did that until one time I think in July which was almost a year after I became a believer mm. I went for one gig and kaskia god tena kiniambia kwa hati yangu acha na hizi vitu I take care of you mm. you know na sasa niniambia I'll take care of you sina mshahara ingine sina mshahara ingine na come through So like in Kasama it's okay and Taube so I took all my secular CDs in this radio space nikapatia best yangu nikamwambia mimi na feel ni atane na it what's any atane na hii and that was a lot of money that was probably like 400,000 worth of CDs at that time so um Whoa, yeah but of my church is good yo yeah ni but also that was the time we used to do in FNL then there was when yeah, you guys, for Christ FNL ilikuwa na shika na shika na stompers so misa hizo ni mama new believer mm. so FNL si hata siko naweza kukaa kwa sababu friday bado niko kwa radio used to finish mm. my show at 7 pm mm. um so um but niko na joe FNL ina happen cuz some mm. of my friends walikuwa naenda mm. FNL sasa yeah so the you know so your transition like was easy 
uh, and I'm grateful that it was not easy mm. because there were such valuable lessons, Carol. Mm. You know, my most valuable lessons mm. have been learned in the time of difficulty. Mm. You know, like when the children of Israel were going to pity you. After I took Egypt, I came out to the promised land. Mm. That was not easy for them, mm -mm. but they needed to go through that. Mm. If I think, come on, get to Egypt and they go straight to the promised land, which was not far. Mm. That journey was not, should not have been far. It should not have mm. taken 40 mm. years. Mm. There are many aspects of God that they would not have understood yes. if they did not go through those 40 years. Yeah. Don't, you, know, don't, you don't have to go around this mountain for 40 years. But sometimes I think going around that desert, it's, it's, part, so, of the process. it's part of the process and there are such valuable lessons. So what were some of the lessons that you learned in this school of hard knocks? Hey, that was so good, Bana. Honestly, me, I have no regrets about that difficulty. Because coming from a place where I had cash, you know, like I'd go for widows and I'd charge 50,000 shillings those days. For one day. And to a world, I in advance. I love the name church. I quit your gigs. I come to Transport. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. So it was very weird. Like I, yeah. I wondered why I was more integrity to go to the church. Uh, you know, lakini kuja kwa wase, where you're supposed to be walking in the light, I kwa hidi alafu anaku, anakutoka, you're like, it, it doesn't make sense. It's even better to say sina. Exactly, yeah. Heru seme hauna. So, ilikuwa, uh, so one of, of course, one of the challenges ilikuwa ni finances ilikuwa ziko low sana. Yeah, yeah. So, my lesson here was, if I look back, and I, I was never hungry. Mm. And I never lacked a place to sleep. Ndiyo siku wana baimungaro umpia kama kitambo, lakini nguo zangu wa zikuisha. Like, when I look at Deuteronomy chapter 8, eh, mm. when I was reading through the word, in those days, yani, ilikuwa so amazing kuwa. When I got to Deuteronomy chapter 8, I was like, man, any God thank you kwa sababu liku wana man. Ukiangalia, I led you through the wilderness, like, just like he led the children of Israel through the wilderness. And he was like, your clothes do not wear out, mm -hmm. your shoes were not worn out. Mm -hmm. Um, and I provided for you guys. Mm. What I wanted you to know is man does not live on bread alone, mm. but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Mm. Later on, Jesus Christ, when he was being tempted by the devil, used the same words. The same words. Uh, so I knew for me, Lazima word is very close mm. to me. Mm. The other thing, uh, the other valuable thing, was that the door is not going to happen. It's not easy. Mm. You know, because it also me it just meant I had to depend on God 100%. Mm. Missing a plan B. Mm. Either God I come through, I'm going to come through. Missing a plan B. My parents are going to go. And your siblings are wondering where are you? Yes, exactly. So, since we wanted to go to your hustle, Sasa. So, kwa sababu sa sina plan B, spukuwa God I come through. Mm. So, mi wambi wa say, my other valuable lesson ilikuwa, I don't do because I have. Because I'll never mm. have enough. Mm. I think in a vision, I let God wame nyeke kwa hati yangu. Uh, sida ni kuna chapa enough zinaweza and I'm mm. glad sina hizo do mm. kwa sababu lazima nikimbile kwa God mm. mwambie mm. yani Father you have to come through mm. we need to do this and there's no plan B so um, so musema na nikia menawase wase kwa ofisi mwambie we don't do because we have we will never have enough but we do because God has said yeah so when you get into that space where you're walking now by faith and not mm. by sight mm. isn't that what Christianity is all about yeah well, we're Very difficult, but that's what it's about. Yes. There's a girl called John Edmond. Mm -hmm. He started the Hager Institute of Leadership. I don't know if you know it, but mm -hmm. he has a motto that I love. He says, try something so big that it's bound to fail unless God be in it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If, if, if what you're trying you can achieve, then really God is not there. Actually, I was in Sunday in University. Many years later. For Yanni Udasoma? So, Nasoma Divinity. Oh, awesome. I was like, man, if I'm going to continue talking about the things of God, I'll just dive deeper and trust on my Bible, but let me get, dive deeper and get a yeah. more and understanding. Yeah, what other people have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so, one of my classes is, is, about, is about systematic theology. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my lecturer, Liko Nasema, if, if you can do it, you'll see space your God could show up. You see, yeah, kwa sababu wana juu unaeza. You know, uneza inuwe iPhone. So you don't need faith to lift up iPhone. <laughs> Unateki. Lakini kama ni spaces, God wingi ya mahali hautoboi. Kwa sababu there he has the, 
He's going to get the glory. Yeah. You can't take it's the going glory to be from about him. him. Yeah. So lesson ni kuwa still on Deuteronomy chapter 8 which is quite key. God alikuwa anambia wa say ni kushawapeleka promised land. Nkrengi hiyo place, the land of milk and honey. Wacha ikana na politician to promise hapa hivi. Ikana nayo ni ya kuzota. Mshafika hiyo place ya yeah, the promised land that land is flowing, flowing with milk and honey um, and you start creating wealth mazim sianze kuji chest thumb which is what many of us do yes like you know when you listen to people talking about how they made it um, even for some of us as believers we want to show people how we've accomplished these things by our might and our strength mm. alafu god anakuambia mkishangia your place and you start creating wealth mseseme ni bidii yako because i'm the one who gives you the ability to make and to create wealth mm. So you, we have no place to glory. Mm. We have no place here to boast. So I'm really grateful about those lessons in that space of, mm. of lack because they've made me the man that I am today. Mm. So Muambi, I'm saying, today you can't come and dangle a carrot of money mm. before me because money is not a motivating factor. Mm. It has never been a God only make sure where you see motivating mm. factor. So what moves me is the vision. Why are we doing this thing? Mm. You know, what's the big goal? Kama ni chapa, by the way, it's, Honestly, God, it, does, it does not move me. Will it make experience God in my life? I'm so grateful to uh, it's kwa sababu sina plan B. Una check sina plan B. So kama sina hauna sina na sita stress kwa sababu Christ anasema man kama God na take care of those nyonde hizo mabazi koko hivyo juu. Moyo zitashinda kukushughulikia. In fact, it's so funny, ju- juicy, mm. to Menda, like, like a week ago, last week, we kicked through Bible study. Mm. So we had a worship night. Mm. And after the worship night, this young girl, I don't even know her, I can't even point her out from a crowd. Mm. Mm. She just walks to me and she hands me a note. Mm. And in the note, God and Amuambia, Maze, Sasa Min Kiangaleo note in Asema, do not worry, you know, uh, do not be anxious. You know, kwa sababu time zingine, those anxiety moments, these will come. Of course. You know, uh, time ya kuori neza kama ukiangalia the things that you need to do and you're like, you know, God, and how the do deadlines. you And the deadlines. You know, um, like Kubampa has a staff of like 67 people. We're, we're a big organization now. And so, time zingine uko, man, God, next month, tunayifunika na mnagani. Now, no, no, Johao, wana trust na we, but really the back stops on you. Yes. You know, for them, iko wapa, mimi sasa mazi, mimi tangalia nani. Because ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. in before, in kama hizo before, where we've gone through luck and we've gone one month, two months, three months without praying, guys, I laugh in Africa place, we're going to But I thank God to the clear of it. Mm. Um, and so, um, so God and Nyambia Maze, do not worry. You know, do not be anxious. All you need to do is just pray. Just pray. I've got you. So, <laughs> Juzi, in um, Memkasubui, at like three o'clock, there's any, you know, there's, uh, there's a gig that I've done and I was wondering, okay, um, God, how is this going to work out? Um, will I even be honored for what I've done? Mm. I love him as a, um, and he disturbed me, Kidogo. Because me, I'm the guy who, to kisha skizana, to me skizana. Mm. You see, na, mm. my yes is my yes. Christ to ambia, you know, let your yes be yes. Let you, you know. and you know, be no. Anything beyond those two, it's from the devil. Mm. <laughs> you know, so you can do it. Even, fanya. Fanya, even though it hurt you, just honor it. Mm. So, um, so it's very disturbed, Juzi Mazi. Like, you can say the word, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, Jana, in have a conversation with Bishti Yango, I can say, Ah, yeah, to come to Kubaliano, so talk sort. Okay, <laughs> Ah, I was like, ah, Why do you worry, Bana? Why do, you, why do I worry? Because mm. God knows that we need these things. Mm. 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 Um, so, Zile Vitu Watu Adunia. Uh, oh, not I don't see what we're doing here. Those things that human beings crave for and we chase after. Mm. When Christ says, you know, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness first, and all these things, other things we'll shall be be, will be added to you. We don't take him true for his word. We're like, mm. yeah, like mm. he, God, I could trust, like, you know, what's in the meantime? What's in so God see plan A and plan B and plan C. So God, you you can't plan things in it. My fallback. You can't have fallback plans. And so, and it does not mean I'm saying we were same plan. I don't think that that's what we are saying. But um, the journey of faith, and it's very clear, 
God and Asema, that without faith it's impossible to please God. And anyone who comes to him must believe, must believe that he exists and he rewards those who earnestly believe. seek him. When I take it. So, lazima believe kwa God yuko. Because even our concept and our idea that God is, is by faith kwa sababu you can't point out no semen who you God up. Mm. So, um, so first, una believe kwa na exist. Alafu, um, he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So, how una plan B? Mm. In fact, una kwa, <coughs> I think it's Romans 1, 117, um, in a sema, that the, ju- the, the just shall live by, shall live by faith. So, kama mm. how to live by faith, Kuna, kuna, kuna shida. Yeah. So tell me about, talk to me about totally sold out. Oh man. Yo, yo, scripture too. <laughs> so Romans 1. Six... I was a serious fan. Akima, okay, thank you. No, Rudy Tafadali. We didn't want to eat. We didn't want to eat. For memories. For... <laughs> yeah. Because there's one we did, there was one uh, return back. I saw something. Oh, Legends. Yes. 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 So, uh, in fact, I did Legends last year to remind guys where we've come from. Yeah. Because sometimes we, we forget the people who have paved the way for us. Yes. So totally sold out. It's actually based off Romans 1.16. Mm-hmm. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Mm-hmm. For in it is the power of salvation. Mm-hmm. So we're like, how do we paraphrase this? I'm mm-hmm. totally sold out to Christ. Mm-hmm. Sina, sina plan B tena. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it became our New Year's gig. Yes. It I became mean. our New Year's gig. It's a place to be. Yes. And Kuna skuma nzetu lipiga lane mpaka nikasema, "Oh, it's a list in best yet." Si tu tuambie tu. Alafu kama tunaenda kuingia hivi mtu akagonjeka. So Pastor Tony went in with one of our sons mimi nikaenda get to know him. Ah, kimaze pole sana. Ilikuwa gani ya bab Nairobi chapel? Ah, it was eh ilikuwa ya chapel. Eh, yeah, yeah. Those days I took out major music crowd management. Sijali. Na kuhandle the lines pana. No, but I think for me what that said is that there was such a hunger. Yes. People are hungry for God. Yes, yes. Now you hunger bad you go. So it's, it's a New Year's Eve concert. But our whole plan is to first, uh, we celebrate an usher in the new year, mm. in God's presence. I love your people when you have Christians an alternative to mm. what's available mm. in the world. Mm. Saizo. I love Kwanza the young people. Yeah, Kwanza wa young people. At least we have a lot of people who are Then the other one is to say, our Jokoka an alternative peer, but like when they club, so you could do to look at the church. So you know, to put the opportunity to share gospel. You know, you're 31st, Lazimum says you is a 228 and tender happy. I love 2023 and we accomplish any. What's going to be different about 2024? Now, normally, we're saying what I want to God. So you put the opportunity to share the gospel God and they run with God for the rest, not just for the rest of the year. Mm. You're giving them an opportunity to experience God mm. and to run with Him for the rest of their mm. lives. Mm. So, um, I think God was a baby if ever met Patia. And, um, you know, it's had its ups and downs. You know, so, uh, some years you'll have many people coming, other years you'll have fewer people. But it's a consistency. And knowing that, Mimi, see Mimi, let us say. See Mimi, honestly. Mimi. Which I think is the hardest place to be as a minister. Yeah. Because in Africa, I don't know, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know Maybe like for the sake of my argument, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. say my zetu five hundred. Ni ajeri. Is it I've stopped being relevant? Oh, what can I do? What you know? And which I honestly, mm-hmm. with the years that we've served, mm-hmm. have realized is a big struggle for many people. It is. It is. Feeling like it is my responsibility to remain relevant. Yes. I love your challenge, Sasa uh, Nikua. When you start looking at the metrics of success in terms of numbers, yes, that's the world's definition. Yeah. So last week, last year, we could say 10,000. Ah, this year, Mazi was say 30,000. Then I could guarantee. At our 10,000. Yeah, then I could guarantee, Bana. You can do all the publicity that you want. Like in God, I may have say 1,000 on the honor come. The question is, are we going to be faithful mm. with the 5,000 who have come? Because it's not about, um, at the end of the day, it's not about the multitude that comes, but it's about being faithful to what God has called you to do. Now, times in a peer report too, that we are always aware, yeah, cool times and seasons come. Uh, and uh, we need to hold certain things loosely because they're just touch points. There's a year we closed yeah. Kubamba Radio. Now, so, because you know, man, Moses made to lay down, Mazum Funga Kubamba Radio. Yes, I struggled with that thing for a long time until I realized it's a touch point. Mm. And this thing was hurting us more being on air. Then oh. it's a blessing. Yeah. Book ones tell us, tell us, look, before we talk about Kubamba Radio, let's talk about Kubamba. Mm-hmm. So here you are, you're born again, you've started doing gigs, you can, okay, okay, uh, um, 
it's called what? It's for Christ. Mm -hmm. You're doing stuff here and there. You're, um, there was, I think, Jesus Night. I don't yeah. even know it was Jesus Night. <laughs> and then now, then Kubamba. Mm -hmm. How did you get to Kubamba? So Kubamba started that, that same year when I was in my first year as a believer. Mm. And um, it started off as a radio show. I love us working with Kubamba crew. Kubamba mm. crew. Yeah. yeah. So, because now I started alone. And then I, along the, the way, like a year later, Njugush came and joined mm. me. Oh, and Njugush made yeah. for long. Yeah, yeah. Him yeah. is like my brother. Yeah, he is. I love him. Yeah. In fact, I was told him that he was seen my real brothers. Mm. Yeah. And then he was in the house. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so when Njugush came and joined me and um, Oscar from all over, do you remember mm. the dance group yes, called All yes, Over? Yeah. So guys, I, bus. so guys started referring to us as, as the Kubamba crew. Mm. So it started May 15th. I'll never forget. My first radio show was May 15th, 2000. Mm, wow. Uh-huh. It was a graveyard shift. It was a graveyard shift. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, for me, it was the birth of. That was the birth Kubamba. of Kubamba. And um, so when people started referring to us as the Kubamba crew, and um, immediately, actually immediately I went on air. Um, that was the beginning of what Kubamba is. Mm. Um, and of course, uh, our main thread, the common thread in the music. Mm. So, um, but as we started off and young people said, saying, man, actually you can have fun and be a believer. Mm. Other people wanted to become DJs and that's mm. how I can DJ Kev, I can more sound. I can grow up and I can do JC's groove, I can do JC's groove. We did a lot of work with Kev at that time yeah. and uh, SK Blue for yes. during the Friday night. Yeah, Friday night live. Yes. Because well, now I think it's available, but mm. I'm glad because Sababu was in a place where you could grow. Because you were in a house, you know, you were deep and you were young. It was excellent sana for guys to grow. I don't know if you were The old guys used to come there, you were in a fortress. Mm. Uh, I think you were in a stompers. Yes. My dance crew is because my Japale, my So it was a big deal that Friday night live, and so um, so now thank God, Kua, 23 years later, Badu to Imagine. So you moved. You said the music, and then you got into high school. We got into high schools because uh -huh. now what 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 used to happen was young guys would call us, call and say, "My man, um, I want to give my life to Christ." Ile live on radio. Mm. See, you lead guys to Christ. Or they call you asking you questions, man. Uh, I'm struggling with this. What do I do? Mm. You know, my parents want to party a hard time because I'm your kind of music, mm. my career and things. So we asked ourselves, okay, so to Kohewani, how do we engage with the young people mm. beyond this space? We just mm. can't be on air. We're not close to the people who we're talking to. And so we became now more intense. We, we had parted, we had gotten a couple of invitations to Kwenda Kwama Chu, but now we're like, let's be intentional with Kwenda Kwama High School. Mm. I know you, you love that. You're oh, so 100. That. Me, let me tell you how I be on this show. Me, my life, Nilisha, be a God, I will give everything to young people, mm. even when I'm 70 years old. Mm. Still a plan B. Mm. Me, my calling is to young people, mm. and I'll give everything. I want to die empty mm. if you are part of kila mm. kitu that I'm supposed to give them. So, at uh, Kanzakwenda Koma High Schools, you know, in a year, we have five high schools, that was a successful year. Mm. <laughs> it looked quite difficult, though. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Penetrating kuna what to focus, KCF, I love sasa isi, chaplains. Isi baki sasa ndo wana kukashifu sasa. Mm. Wana sema wa si watu wa mungu. Mm. Una shindo wa... How did you decide to see what we are Because our model is different from yours. Mm. And those are some of the disservices that we do each other as the body of yeah, Christ. Yeah. We tend to discredit and to castigate ama to paint people in bad light even though you've never talked to them miss jk down was with ksf you know or focus 23 years later since why you know so unfortunately but you know thank god says i think it's better and jugush is able to have those conversations with them but you know there are many guys when say mama say these people are playing the devil's music uko how is it the devil's music and he's talking about jesus 100 mm. percent you know like kubamba is a full product of music. Mm. Even our slogan representing Christ Jesus to the fullest. Mm. It's off a song by a group called Cross Movement. Mm. In it was I Am. Which mm. is such a, you know, it's such a solid song about how God is the great I Am. Mm. So the song starts by saying Christ Jesus all the way, y'all. How can you say Christ Jesus all the way? One, you know, like this is what, I want my life to represent Christ Jesus to the fullest. That that's your slogan, Alafu. Christ. 
You know, we want to box. What I'm learning, you know, he says that I will, I'm doing a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Yeah. And we want to kind of define new, mm -hmm. and we can't you because can't? it's new. It's new. Yeah, and, and, and we have to be very, very, of course, there are some things which personally I struggle with. You know, like if I take um, Whitney Houston's Saving All My Love for You, and mm -hmm. then I said I'm singing for Jesus. No, I. I'm going to a bit of struggle. I'm yeah. like, first and foremost, even copyright issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why don't you just trust God for a new thing? For a new song, but yeah. But also, how do I... I honestly do not know what God is doing in the heart of the person. Yeah. I'm not private to the journey. Mm -hmm. I pray that God will help me to be like Barnabas. You know, una hand, una hand hold him say. Yeah, hey, Barna. No, una trust. Ule God alimuita atam sort. We imagine Barnabas. Because Barnabas was in the faith. Yes. I love me say Mazin Tatembe and Paul. Says the Paul ne lookona persecute church. That was a big bold move for Barnabas. And we don't even talk about Barnabas much. But if Paul if Barnabas did not do that, Miss G Paul and the Kwana Mesha Bana. Kwasa litembe na e na kafungulia Paul Milango mob. Una check so um size maze was we tend to judge what we don't understand. Want to be Paul. Yes. Like you were saying, you know, like you're saying, when God is doing a new thing, it's a new thing. You don't know it. And even for you and I now, because this space is too cool, uh, the younger guys who are coming after us, we won't understand what's happening mm -hmm. in their space because they speak a different language. You know, like your kids, um, their expression of God and how they have understood God, what we can pray is that they understand you know, the, the tenets of the faith. Mm. You know, these are the basic principles of the faith, Bana. Do not veer off kutoka koezi. Mm. But it can be different expressions exactly. now. Exactly. They need to speak in a language that their generation understands. And akumbuka Christ kuna place aliko nasema, you know, you can't put new wine into an old wine old skin. Hazi ambatani, you know, at all, at all. And something else I remember, Nikwa Christ pia alisema, that the other sheep were not part of this sheepfold. Mm. Saizo kiongelesha ma disciples, wali kuna jiwa maze salvation ni ya? Jews. Ni ya ni ya Jews. Lakini ya Jews maze kuwa Samaritans atakuja kuokoka. Kuzao kwa mawambia kusu Samaritans saizo. The rest of the world, you know, there are going to be people like you and I, who are going to be belong to the household of faith. Yeah. And now, there are still others who are not part of this flock. And they are still to come in. Those guys do not look like you and I. And we need to work with that understanding kuwa... Uh, that the next generation or the next crop of uh, people who God is going to call to serve him, they'll be very different. And when they come into our spaces, let's not try to make them like us. Yeah. You know, to kuvalisha David an ama kenda kufight na Goliath. We mwatile vile mwakuwa kifight na lions na bears huko hivyo na slingshot yake na nini. Mwatile tu hivyo kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo God ame mreza. Hivyo ndivyo ateza kuongea na Another generation. Wow. Yeah, what Wow. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is, yeah, that is deep. Yeah, just shukuru God, man. So, um, so I think for us, mahali to me fika sa easy. It's, I mean, ni shanza ku experience God anafanya kitu tofauti. And times in Guinea, we are slow to catch up as the body yeah. of faith. Yeah. We're slow to catch up. Maybe God at fungwe macho, that we understand the times and know what the body of Christ needs to do. We can't do things the old way. You know, even doing this, huh? mm -hmm. because I'm talking to people who are older. Yeah. One of the things that I keep being asked is, so which TV station are you doing for three? And I'm, I think, old but not but young enough to understand that TV is becoming slowly irrelevant. TV is dying. It is dying. It's even and a that dead. if I put something in television, mm -hmm. first it costs a lot. Yeah. And then it doesn't give you as much returns. No. You know? And that I think is just an example of the fact that things move so quickly mm -hmm. that if you're not moving, I mean if you if you and and I like what you've said that we can I'm an old wine skin. Mm -hmm. I must accept that. Mm -hmm. And so there are things that God wants to do and he may not do them through me and yeah. that is okay. That's okay. And that is okay. Every day book na na TikTok size. Ile wase wana kimbiza na na. Already Twitter ni stress. Sasa TikTok. Nieta Twitter ili ni chuja. Nilenda kuingia hapo hivyo juzi nikisema let me tweet. Nikambi wa mbaze your account does not exist. Niko ala kumenda aje. Ulitoka lini? I do a TikTok with the sun. Mi mwenyewe sija toka. Sinia nasima unuwoli na shanga ulitoka nini? We do a TikTok with my son called Father and Son. 
and every time I talk about what to put on, my ideas are old. It's like, wow. mommy, no. <laughs> mommy, it has to be one minute. I'm like, in one minute, to talk to my To go to my salimiana. Eh, not to be told in a testimony. Yeah. Now, tell me about the radio. Yeah. You so, said that you felt that it wasn't doing, it wasn't, you struggled. Ah, man, let me tell you, Bana. Radio was, I don't think I was, I was supposed to go in that direction. You know those things that you crave for for such a long time? Yeah. Like in the God and the Jeremiah Kukwambi, Achana Naiko. Cheza Chini. Cheza Chini. In 2009, to look at Mianza Power Radio, if you remember. Yeah. That was the right season for us to get into that space. Yeah. But that journey was cut short, like nine months in. Mm. And so we were like, okay, the vision is still, a, is still alive. So we wrote down everything we wanted to do for mm. the radio mm. when Power Radio was shut down. Mm. That was so painful because. Mm. <laughs> Yani momentum ilikomeshika, any event that we sponsored or we publicized, it was sold out. Mm. So that was the right time. So now, seven years later, we were given a frequency. Mm. And so we thought, this is it. This is it. Come through. This is it. Alafu nangalia, man, we are doing this TV show on Citizen Television, so mm. we have a good following. Yeah, yeah, so let's continue this. In fact, for us, let's continue with this journey of faith. Rather than people just waiting for us for seven hours on a Sunday morning, let's do life with them on a daily. Cindy, mm. we, you know, they have a place where they can come and listen to wholesome gospel music. We can talk about issues of life. But what we didn't realize was that season had passed. Mm. You know. And then maybe it was just God giving you a chance to do what you like. Yeah. It wasn't his I yaki, yeah. Mm. And so, uh, so we got into this thing and it cost us a lot of money. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, li tusumbua maze. Mimi zi kuto, yo maze ukroniya zi ndiwa mekamu. Lakini ya jai pita kwa mlango. Kwa sababu medile na rent. Lakini ya tuko na support. Kuna temide ambia wase watu saidi, you know, they support us, maze wakatuma ma 10 bobs. <laughs> Because you can put a cheesy. Ah, to 10 bob, come on, say, come on, 5,000. Even multiply 5,000 or 10 bobs. Okay, 50k. Even 50k. Because I'm going to sub a two-shot. Ah, as in the animals. So, we campaign. To go to the team, I'm going to tell you that Nax had in any, had in I, to me, every step, I was sponsored, you know, sponsor 10 bob. And to say, this is going to take like this many number of steps to get to Nairobi. According to the journey, to get to the matrix. Na, an average step, I'm saying. But we look every step was only gonna prep here. And we're claiming God and saying we're praying to God and asking for every step, not now because of your tempo, but beyond that, we're believing and trusting in you that we will get to see a new believer with every step. Mm. So was what you bear, man. Tulichoka. Offering the yo mazia support, maze coco we vote down. <laughs> humbling. Uh, but that was a good idea though. Yeah. But the main lesson or the big lesson for me here was that there are certain you know, there are certain there are certain programs or certain things that we do mm. and this is for believers and unbelievers. Mm. There are certain things that we that we do that we think that this is the real deal. Mm. But for us as Kubamba Radio is a touch point. Mm. Totally sold out is a touch point. Because our job is to reach out to young people. Young people is, that's who God has called me to reach out mm. to. So this program called a radio is a touch point. TV mm. is a touch point. Mm. TSO is a touch point. Uh, so and this, you can use anybody's station. You don't have yes. to Sasa shide yetu ni kuwa For us to be relevant and for us to be able to get this thing going, we need to have our own space. Mm. But that thing was hurting us. It was mm. killing us. It was harming everything else that we were doing. Mm. So our opportunities are going to come connect now. So young is being affected because of all the money is in the cool. Fully my bills are radio. So when we came to close it like two years later in 2019, it was very difficult. Mm. But I'm, I praise God that we closed it because of the next year, it was COVID. Where? Hey, hey. <laughs> Ay, 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 yeah. ay, ay, ay. I don't you think Kubamba is going to miss Mama Saizi. You know, you've, you've said that your life is about lessons. Yeah. And I think the big lesson from where I'm seated hearing is that sometimes you can love the Lord, you can try, and sometimes you'll try a miss. Mm -hmm. And yeah. God allows. And God allows. God allows. Mm -hmm. And you learn the painful ouch. Because I, honestly, honestly, if I could be um, vulnerable, mm -hmm. my biggest struggle mm -hmm. is to be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I want to save face at all costs. 
And that has been the space that God continuously puts me so that I, you know, I'm laying even my reputation on the ground. I'm laying even my reputation on the ground. I'm like, you say, you know those things you say that of you, of how Christians don't pay, those things embarrass me. I'm like, man, as Christians, we have to be, I love a space where you are the one unable to pay. Yes. And you've tried, you've done, you've worked, you've believed. You're like, man, <laughs> Nairobi, the paper bag over my head. That happens to many believers yeah, yeah, out there. It does. But how do you keep on trying the next time? Yeah. Because many of us now reach a point where we are not going to try and say, God, kuna vile wo kam through lakini na kam nyanga through kina moz mimi kama kubamba imefunga na funga kila kitu na narudi home. I think I think it's wise to kumbuke mzee kila mtu kwa safari yake. Yeah. We all have our journey. Yeah. Remember why you start. Remember your why. Remember your why. God alikuita kwa nini? Si ndio? Mm. So um na maybe maybe Carol Nipot to say for some guys you call for a season. Si ndio? Mm. Mm. For some guys you call for a season. Mm. Like for the next 10 years Indo space trakua. Mm. Lakini after that maybe you're supposed to transition to something, to something else. else. So stop holding on to that mm. thing that you probably need to let go of. Mm. Lakini kama God amekuitia space flani we nyenyeke humble to hapo hivyo it doesn't mean it's going to be easy mm. si ndio mm. lakini si wambiwa that he who called you is faithful yeah. he who called you is faithful so na god sika binadamu god achezagi mse god akiku promise kitu atafanya in his own time it does not work within our time mm. you know just see you know we tend to think yeah in the next year nitakuwa hapa hivi but who said hiyo ni plan yako in fact bible inasema mazi niko naangalia msembe paraphrase uh, that's proverbs i want to say proverbs 16 inaongea kuhusu vile wasi upanga vitu so mm. basically the first nine verses inaongea kuhusu how you know how we tend we have a tendency of planning things mm-hmm. um but umsa liko me paraphrase akasema mazi men plan god laughs mm. Mm-hmm. cuz you know we we tend to think mazi kwa our plans are the best again we're not saying don't plan mm. but be flexible be fle- yani we plan I love you to come because the God will be your will be done. Amen. Your will be done. Amen. So it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that this journey is going to be easy. But just be faithful. Be faithful to what God has called you towards and don't try to judge your success based on what men judge success as. Yeah. The ultimate success means that God has said, "Well done my good and faithful servant." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well done. Sometimes we are going to pressure this world because we try to look at church as a business. Sindio? Right? uh where what's the ROI sindio like any faith how do you count the matters of faith in terms of ROI sindio maybe god ame ame kuita mazee wende kufanya crusade au mende kukaa chini mazee wase 10th hour ame kama alafu mse moja tu ndiye anaokoka imagine how frustrating that can be lakini huo mse moja amesevika anakuwa ni Billy Graham unge feel mazee you have wasted resources but that one person who gets saved leads millions to Christ exactly wewe una feel maze ume fail in fact nasema maze god stories zako mimi nimeachana nazo mimi nimeishia hii kitu maze ni frustrating hii kitu hailipi hii kitu maze hai haina ROI i mean how do i do a crusade alafu mse moja na sevika i mean tendaje kuambia wase ukipata na report ama hata wewe mmoja akisevika ni god eh bwana but we forget that the matters of faith is about God man. Mm. You and I never saved anyone. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't die for anyone. Mm. And it's the Holy Spirit who convicts nana let us say. So the thing is um let's talk again metrics the vitu za God si kama za hii dunia. His mm. ways are higher than our ways. All we need to do is remain faithful. Mm. Si ndio ile place amekuita you just be faithful in mm. that space. Mm. And um and God will God will do things like he knows how to do things best and his way is better than our ways otherwise tukianza kujingiza na vitu zingine that's what us tukia maze eh msema ze ameanza ku compromise ameanza akitafuta relevance akitafuta relevance says the relevance is a big thing of course it's it's good to understand the times and know what to do in uh but don't compromise who you are mm. you know just and don't compromise the non negotiables yes tell me a little bit about your wife and your kids oh man my wife is scottish I don't even know if she's Scottish. My wife is Irish. Mm-hmm. But she's lived in Scotland 
so she was born in Ireland uh, for 10 years. They lived there. Then they moved to Scotland for 12 years. And then she came to Kenya and she's been here since. So how did you meet? So we met at, um, at a church gig. They called me to, they called me to DJ. Mm. Uh, actually, before I, before I traveled to the States, we, had plan we started planning an event for young guys. Mm. So while I was gone, you know, Debs are part of the church. And so they continued with the plans for That's this at event Chapel. at Nairobi Chapel. Yeah. So we're planning to start a young adult fellowship uh, that we're calling Keeping It Real, mm. which now became Avuno Downtown. Mm. So in that space, Ogakam Kunichukwe na Pastor Kiyama, Pastor Kiyama is my friend. Now I'm saying to Makdi. No, not Makdi, Mac, uh, Macau. So Oga Kujo Kunichukwe, Mazek Toka Kuhau. Yo Gioni, Mazek Mini Kumaliza Kudije, Tuka Baki Tuki Piga Sori Kwa Kapak. Tuka Nza Kubond. I love we didn't see each other for like six months, maybe five months. Then we reconnected again. We met at Java Adams. We just started bonding. And when I started bonding with her, I was like, man, she's, this is it. This is it. She's the one, Bana. Was it difficult for you? Yeah, you were. Yeah, you know, it was very difficult. Race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In I fact, not even race. Una, una invite into a walk of faith. Yeah, she was already, the thing is, she was already in the, in, in the faith. And for her, like, because I traveled as well, na Miss J. Fungamana na na stories that the tribes Amaza that shows from Scott. I didn't care. Like, you know, I was just happy that she's someone I love. Fuck not a liko so concerned mazia kichiki mam. Most women only can utam utawam kamba. So liko na kula stress. A little bit further. Hey so uh but her she was reading the she was reading the faith. But was she living a life of faith? What I mean as in Yeah. You're praying and God is providing la faith yeah provision. Yeah, faith yeah, yeah. Mini. yeah, she was full on bana. In fact, she's one of the most not even she's so solid and she's so practical in her faith, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable yeah. bana. Because that was important. In fact, you're challenge in many ways. Mm. In many many Maramobs just gives the advice yaki it has always come back to bite my behind. <laughs> As in the truth, Bana. So for her, my biggest challenge in Likwani, I was I was being an idiot because I was I was afraid of commitment. Mm. Even though I knew she's the one, Mazi. Mm. I took her through one and a half years of hell. Mm. Yeah. You know, just in a tuna kwatum jinga. Mm. Mna date like ini amja define kuna mm. joa kwasi usema DTR, define the relationship. Mm. So look your space tuna date. I'm not seeing anyone else, she's not seeing anyone else. Ma bish talking amulze um se meku ameku waska una mambia ay badwa jani uliza lakini. Si hang out na de mwingine. <laughs> Yendi na hang out na e. So mpaka ma bish talk na mambia chan na um se um se maze are you serious? Look was scared. I was just being an idiot, Diani. So I think I was just scared of commitment mm. and wondering, you know. But to be I, fair, you're mm -hmm. believing God for one person. Yeah. It's a whole different uh, ball game to believe God for two people and eventually four people. Yes. You know? When it's very pekeako, kose utafunga tu mlango rosafi, who declare fast to lale. But now you'll have a wife. Yeah. Wife yeah. comes kids. Yeah. In liko inile design unajua. I already knew that she's the one. So, Karo, nili kuna fanya mazi ni si ni si mwambeo ni demi yangu. Ili tuko one and a half years kuma mwambeo hivo. And then we got married one and a half years later. So, hapo, uh, in fact, niki look back, musa mani liwest time. Mm. Wada tungefunga mechi. Ma, ah, hapo tungefunga mechi like six months after kukutana kwa sababu. Uliko sha jua. Eh, hey, bana. So, niki kuna watu wame grow zara, saizi maybe yangi kuwa 15. Misa <laughs> watu, wata suwa kumisa watu. I can tell you for free, the race is not to the swift. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, wow. But she's, um, she's a huge blessing in my life. Okay. And um, I'm glad that, I'm glad that we're not in the same space. Okay. Of ministry. Okay. Her, she's in education. Ah, she's a teacher. No, she's, she's not a teacher. She, her job is to equip teachers to teach oh, wow. effectively. Oh, wow. You know, and uh, that's what organization does. Mm. So, vile sisi tumefunzo kitambo, liko nafunzo kukram. So, they teach teachers how to teach effectively in terms of, don't teach your kids to cram. Mm. Wasaidi ku understand. Mm. The more they understand, you know, the easier it is for them to be to able remember. To, to remember to solve problems. So, and me, I'm in music. I'm in music. So, mm. it's, it's amazing. Mm. Vile unaiza kufanya job na hazi, mm. atuwezi fanya job in the same space. Iyo, Mimi <laughs> never, never said die. But anyway. Huh? <laughs> so um, I'm really grateful for her. Yeah. And um, you know, the process of the journey of marriage has been has been amazing. Mm. Has been incredible, Bana. 
And you know, the fact that we're able to navigate through life, you can mute. I'm never afraid because I'm a sister to Naga house help mm. from day one. Till you got Shaku Baliana, I took your mother's sister to grow up, still gonna house help Kohao. But it was like stucky. Mm. Staki nataka kuwa free na wife yangu. Mm. Ndio kama tuna argue, hakuna msemo mwingine anasikiza stories yetu. Hata tu argue kivi yetu, but it was just about being free. Mm. And so um, it means that we're more intentional to spend time with our yeah. kids. And that's yeah. valuable because mimi I'm with my kids oh, only for 18 years bana. And then your your ministry calls you away a lot. Yeah. It's and it's so I don't think the young people will understand just how important I, I have three boys and mm-hmm. I keep telling them, you know what? There are two most important decisions you'll ever make. What you do with Jesus? I mm-hmm. know you marry. Yeah. Because if you're stuck solid with an idiot, <laughs> you'll you will suffer for <laughs> like the rest of your life. Like me before I got married. Ah yeah 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 yeah. You want a woman who believes in yeah. what the Lord has planted in you to do. Yes. Yeah, and sets you free to do it. Absolutely. And actually, you want you want someone who celebrates you mm. um, for who you are and encourages you to be a better version of of yourself. Of yourself. So like now, if if I know that Debs is in the space of education, how can I help her in her space to thrive and be all that she can mm. be? I have not fully grasped it, mm. but I want to support my wife as much as she can. Mm. So like now, she's away for two weeks. Mm. You know, I'm happy because, you know, she's doing what God has called her to do, but she doesn't need to worry about home. Minto kono watoi, nitapika, I've really told myself how to cook. Kuna no time singe za kupika at all at all yani. Ah uh, ningeangalia spices ni shindwe sasa hizi nitafanya nazo nini? Mazo acha tu acha tu ni mwage chumvi. You know. Um but just, you see how it has helped me to grow as well. Yeah. Cuz she's not here. Yeah. I have to become a better man. Yeah. I have to become a better dad with yeah. the kids and yeah. spend time with the kids. So when I'm gone uh it's the kids are like yeah dad is not around so it's weird in the house. When she's mm. gone it's weird because mommy is not in mommy is not in the house mm. uh, but again you it made said you must be intentional and to be better versions of who god has called us to be na kuwa in the same space na watoi uh, but again how to you now just for 18 years after that me ni toka home nikiwa 18 that's the way rudi kulala kwa hao ya mother story kwanza hapo hiyo na hope hapo hiyo hope tuta edit ndio story tj na tonga asikia wa hame let me ask you looking back what did you tell your younger self What, what, or rather, uh, let, me, let me rephrase and say, what would you do different? I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I wouldn't. That is amazing. There's nothing I can change in my journey. Mm. And if I was to talk to my younger self, I'd be like, God will do you to do great and amazing things mm. that you have no idea. Mm. Mm. Um, because the things that I've seen God do with my life, from the things that we call me today, and I'm going to say, you know, nimechiki god akitumia the foolish things of this of my life to do amazing things you know wasa wange darao dj wasa walikuwa na ni darao and i don't mind it made me a better person i fucking you kumbuka mazi nikiwa and i don't digress niki i mean nimeenda kwa church nimechujwa i mean uko na kofia wasa nakwambia usiingie na kofia lakini sasa ndio you know um msimu mmoja nikaongea na yeye akanembea wewe kwanza mazina hizo dread zako hatuwezi kukubalisha kwa church yangu so nikamuuliza would you rather mimi niko na dread kwa club kama nipotee away from god ama niko na dread lakini niko ndani ya church mahali na closer and closer na vitu za god umse akanembea wewe kwanza hatuwezi kukubalisha anywhere near my kids lakini yako unajua maybe what you want to interact now at some point cause nilingia kwa tele and <laughs> 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 Radio na wapi? Ndio hiyo sasa. Na, so, yeah, so wow. um if I was to tell a younger version of me ni kuwa, you'll be okay. You'll be fine. And God God has got you man. Amen. God has got you. So Amen. no regrets and there's nothing I will change in my journey apart from marrying my wife Alia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one little regret. That's the one. That's the one. Hiyo mimi ujua. Yeah, actually. Alafu yeah. what's your getting us? Oh man, the meaning the meaning but let me highlight one for Ephesians chapter 4 mm. where Paul starts by telling the Ephesian church you know uh, basically I'm going to paraphrase it eh? but walk in a manner that is worthy to the calling that you have received mm. so go na menita what in tembe in a manner that waso wakini cheki wasishindo kama god yuko mm. so that's one and the other one up we want to say walk in humility mm. Uh, well, you're not better than the other person mm. you know um, walk in humility uh, and walk 
uh, in a manner that is worthy to the calling that you have received. Mm. And so I pray kuwa, that somehow God will always keep me grounded, that will always walk in humility. And I never want to think about walking in humility. You know, once you start thinking about it, umepoteza <laughs> tena. Yeah. <laughs> so you've told me that your legacy, the thing that you'd want to have left done is to have poured out your life Totally. I want to die for empty. For the next generation. I want to die empty. I want to die empty. I want to die empty. So nita. talk to one of the young people. Yeah. Camera gani? Ile. Okay. Ile. So talk to. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, the thing about the kingdom of God. I just want to say. I just want to say. And I. I've been telling young people this more and more. That God is the author and the perfect of our That God is the author and the perfect of our lives. He, our life starts with him. So, whatever you're trying to look for there, maybe first, maze, you make sure you're in a relationship, because God I know the plans I have for you. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to create. I'm Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. So, before you were formed in your mom's womb, God is going to be a Psalm 139, he said, that before you lived even a single day, God alikwashandika all your days kwa bukiake. So, mm. so basically, life inanza na God yani. Sima halipengi. It didn't start with your mom. It didn't start with your dad. You didn't choose them. So God ndio aliwaleta pamoja. They may not be the best parents. Maybe they are, uh, or maybe you may only have one parent. But that was the right union for for you to happen, so for you to become. become. And so I want to encourage you, man. Connect na God kwanza. And then the next one, Christ said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you. So, mweke kwanza. You know, watch a God akwe your number one. And then all these other things that you're trying to look for, God atakuongezea. You realize that when you pray, you pray in accordance to God's will, not for your own selfish gain, uh, but for you to be able to fulfill what God's will and plan is for your life. So, ndiyo kikubariki na do, unajuizo do, they're not an end in itself. That I mean to an end, not even just for you, but it's a tool that you can be able to use for the advancement of the body of Christ or for the work of God as a Kwendambele. You know, for you to be a blessing to, uh, you know, to the less fortunate in the society, uh, for you to be able to live your life, basically, you want to live your life to glorify God and nobody else. Because the true definition of success, and guys talk about success a lot, but Musema, when this life is over, because it will be over, what will God say about you? Amen. Will he say, well done, my good and faithful servant? Amata sema, depart from me, I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. Na kembewo mse, depart from me, I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. Also, look wana sema, man, didn't we do great things in your name? Man, how unfortunate, man. So, anyway, but let's finish with this on a positive note. God anakujua, yende aliku create, jikonnect na ye, and watch what he does through your life. There are no regrets. You can use me as a testimony. Yeah. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. So if you're watching us and you're wondering, my platform is so small or, you know, I, I'm insignificant, you dare God. Yeah. Dare and see. Taste and see that the Lord is good, the Lord is faithful, and the Lord is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond what you could think, dream, or imagine. God bless you. Let's meet next week. Bye.